Hi, welcome to part two of my video series, Is My Hard Drive Failing? In part one, you learned about two tools that you can use for free to determine if your hard drive is having a problem. Hopefully it's not, but if it is and you need to replace it, in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, if you want to replace it because you need more space, or if you want to make your computer significantly faster with a solid state drive, stick around and I'm going to show you how. If you stick around at the end of my video, I'm going to show you some tips on where to buy and what brands to buy for solid state hard drives that will make your computer much, much faster. To begin the replacement process, you're going to want to clone your hard drive. Now, cloning your hard drive is exactly what it sounds like. You're making an exact copy of your drive, and to do that, you're going to need to be able to plug your drive in. This is a SATA to USB adapter that allows you to plug your new solid state drive in outside of your computer and start the copy process. Once you're done with that process, in part three, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble your computer and put the new hard drive in. Let's get started. So to begin, you're gonna to wanna to go on Google and search for Macrium Reflect Free. Now you can go to macrium.com, but if you don't search for the free, they hide this and it's not usually available in the menus. So I recommend going to Google and looking for Macrium reflect free edition and you'll be able to find it. it's usually the first link you'll end up on a page like this and you want to click for home use um, this is the free version so they don't allow you to use it for business so we're gonna click on for home use you can skip putting in your email address or other items because they're not necessary and the download will begin You can click on the download to start it opening once it's finished. And the installer will start running. Just hit next on this screen, accept the licensing terms. Again, pick home use. And you don't need to register the product, so I usually uncheck register the product, and then select install. Go ahead and click finish with the launch now checked. And this is the full application here. Now it can look kind of confusing. Your local disk here, the source, is the original disk in the computer. In this case, this is the one that's starting to go bad. And we're gonna wanna copy the partitions onto a new disk, but you're gonna get this error message if you've picked a solid state drive that's smaller than the drive that you're trying to copy from. So what you're gonna have to do is resize these partitions. Now, this looks complicated, but it's really, really simple. What you're basically doing is copying from one system to the other these partitions. Almost think of them like a deck of cards. And there's only so many slots that you have. And since normally you don't use all of your hard drive, you can usually make up this space. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to select the partitions that I need to copy. And I'm going to resize the ones so that they all fit now in the size of my new drive. You can do this on a piece of paper just to figure out the sizes. I did the math with a very simple calculator. And then you'll be able to hit the next and it'll give you a summary of the operations that it's about to do. Then hitting OK will run the copy operation. Now this can take a lot of time. I'm not kidding. Uh, this can take a couple hours often on a large hard drive. And it, this is where, you know, going away and coming back is usually the best bet.
Okay, the copy is complete. What I recommend doing at this point is to shut down the computer and unplug the hard drive. You'll be ready for step three. So let's see where you can purchase a solid state hard drive and what brands that I like. So I like to begin my hard drive search at Amazon. Just search for SSD. That stands for solid state drive and that's what most people call them. And here you see the Amazon's choice items. There's one from Kingston, which I actually have here, and two others from Samsung. You can't go wrong with the Samsung Evo series. An 840 or an 860 are a great series. On the left side, we're gonna check off some brands. So we like SanDisk, Crucial, Kingston, Samsung. So these are the top rated brands. I've had some trouble with Western Digital. And actually for an economic brand, A-Data has actually done really well. I'll also include Intel here and Corsair so you can see the difference in prices. Okay, so I'm gonna sort this list from the lowest to the highest just so you guys can see the difference in pricing. As you see, A-Data is one of the lower end brands along with Kingston here. And the lowest size you're gonna see is about 120 gigabytes. That's just too small nowadays. With Windows taking 50 to 60 gigabytes, I recommend that you go to at least a 240 uh, gigabyte drive and you see one there for 36 from A-Data. Uh, also, Crucial has some here. I really do like the Crucials, but for that price, $50 for 250, that's not the best deal you're gonna find. You do normally want a 2.5 inch drive. You'll see some of the other form factors that you can get there, those really skinny SATA drives. That Samsung, you can't go wrong with right there. And if we keep going, you'll notice that there's also some adapter trays here. You can buy an adapter tray if you're putting this into a desktop. This is one of my favorites, the MX500. So we'll come back to that one here. I'm gonna show you a more pricey option here. The Intel SSD has got an A rating from FakeSpot. It's 512 gigabytes, and it, the price is about $82. And so let's go take a look at what's going on with that one. So the 512 is for 82, and the 256 is just under $50 here. And it's got a great FakeSpot rating on 47 reviews. Let's go back and take a look at that Crucial. My experience, I've done probably 10 of these drives and I've never had a failure. They run incredibly fast. And here you can purchase it with that adapter I was telling you that you'll need. Um, it does have a C rating. I'm gonna go ahead and click into the Fake Spot app and it's gonna tell us what we see here. So it said that about 80% of the reviews are reliable here and so in this case, I would trust this rating. I would say that this is something that you can uh, go ahead and purchase. So stick around for part three, where I'm gonna show you the physical steps that you need to do to install your new solid state drive. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of my video. If you liked what you saw here, do me a solid, hit the like button down below. If you really wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and if you want YouTube to actually let you know they're there, hit the bell. I would love to show you some more items. We've got upcoming videos on home automation, how to use Alexa, and other really cool tips and technology tricks for real people.